Hello people, we are out again, patrolling these woods with the humorous tree, the big old tree. But something I wanted to talk about today is being a people pleaser. Now being a people pleaser is probably one of the worst things you can be, man. I used to be it so much, I used to be it so much, I used to be such a people pleaser back in high school. Because I was so afraid of conflict. And avoiding conflict is a very feminine thing to do. I remember learning in my English language classes when we were studying language and gender. And there was a theory. I can't remember the name of the theorist. But she said that men or masculine people, of course back then they said men, but I think it's just masculine people in general. Because of course you can have masculine women and feminine men. But this theory said that men speak in a way that conveys more uh, information and tend to, you know, steer towards conflict in order to resolve something. Whereas more feminine people speak in terms of compromise. So they'll sort of try and avoid conflict and they'll speak in a way that's like, oh, everyone's included and stuff. But realistically, if you're a people pleaser, no one's going to really love you, to be honest. Like, if people are talking about you when you're not there, the worst thing that people can say is, oh, he's an alright guy. Because being just an alright guy shows that you're not, like, you're not present. Not present, but you, people don't really, you don't stay, you're not very pertinent in people's minds. People aren't thinking about you that often. People might have like a two minute conversation about you. Like, oh yeah, he's an all right guy. And then go back to talking about whatever else. The kind of person you need to be is a person that people either love or hate. Because if you love me or hate me, I'm still gonna stay in your mind. Now you might think, oh, I don't, I don't want people to hate me. Honestly, bro, there's some people that just genuinely don't like you. Like, Let's see if I can try and get across here. Of a muddy, muddy path. Chopping the log bridge. I don't have to get up here. Oh, shit, man. Ooh. Oh, I'm in another sludgy situation. But in one of my college classes, there's a girl that's sitting next to me. And she just dislikes me, bro. I don't know what it is. I try to be nice to her. You know, we have to, like, partner up to do certain tasks in class, obviously, because she sits next to me. But I try to be nice to her, and she's just, like... I don't know, she's just so hostile for some reason. And back in... If this were back in high school, then I would be, like, thinking about that constantly. I think towards the start of the... Um, start of last year, I was thinking about it quite a lot. I was like, oh, why, don't, why doesn't she like me? Why, why? And to be honest with you now, I don't care. Like, I definitely cannot give two shits about it. Because she's just a very resentful person. I tried to be nice to her. And she just... I think one time she literally just said that she dislikes my face. And that could genuinely be the reason, bro. Like, I know it might sound shadow, shadow, shallow. But there are people that, like, I see. People I don't know. I remember there was like this one YouTuber, like, he has such a weaselly face, bro. I'm sure he's a very nice guy, and that's how you've got to think about these things. But there are two people in this world. People who judge others based on their looks and liars. And as soon as you see someone, you make a judgment just like that. And she just, for some reason, doesn't look like my face. And she's perfectly entitled to believe that. But... She's definitely not going to refer to me as just an alright guy. If she's talking about me. You know, people become obsessed with you. If they either love you or hate you. You sort of just... I don't know, you have a lasting effect on people. You have more... Tell me about my screen time, my phone. Oh, God. You have... You're just more impactful. Now, of course, we want more people to love you than hate you. Because then you're going to have more positive influence on people. People are going to respect you more. But I remember this specific girl I told I asked her straight one time. I said, <laughs> I literally just said, I snapped one day. I said, is everything going right in your life? Because you seem to just bring other people down. 
and she sort of like quickly changed the subject so that proved to me that things are probably not going great in her life so i've got to you've got to be patient with people like that you know there must be a reason i mean if you were in that exact same situation where things weren't going your way you'd probably try to bring other people down as well to make you feel better so you can understand it but being a people pleaser sometimes bro you've got to have conflicts right if one of your friends is being a dickhead tell him he's being a dickhead if a girl's messing you around just <laughs> just block her i don't know uh, maybe obviously it depends on the situation but if you genuinely have a girl who's like messing around and just oh you know uh, maybe not today but maybe we can go outside there uh, don't mess around right don't mess around with girls that are just run arounds and tag you along because they're just not they're just low quality man honestly if a girl i prefer a girl right to just tell me if she doesn't want to go out with me to just tell me right these girls that try and avoid conflict and they're like oh can we just be friends chuff off I don't want to be your friend. How can I be friends with you when you've rejected me, right? I'd rather you just tell me straight, look, I don't want to go out with you, etc. And it's fine. You can't be thinking about these things, bro. You can't overthink social situations and try to get everyone to like you. Not everyone is going to like you. Some people will simply dislike you because they dislike your face. And I'm fine with that. Because there are plenty of people that I know that enjoy my company. We've got to focus on the positive, bro, not the negative. So stop being a people-pleasing scumbag, little scrub, and start telling people what you really think because then you're going to attract the people that think like you. If you're talking in this filtered way, then you're going to attract a bunch of yes-men, a bunch of people who don't respect you or maybe well it's either going to be yes men who are like oh yes yes and they don't want to call you out on your bullshit and then you get complacent or it's just going to be a bunch of people who like insult you constantly and don't respect you oh. so that's what i stopped doing i stopped being a people pleaser and my social ability has increased dramatically so bro do the same stop being a people pleasing bastard all right, God bless, bro. Have a wonderful day. It is a wonderful day here. The sun is shining. God bless, bro. Mwah.